What's good, Humble Squad? It's your boy, Humble Ziggy. We back here with another reaction for y'all. And today, we back with another Fable reaction. And this is Endeav his is Endeavor Rap Die Together Fable and Dizzy 8. Now, this is part now. Like you said, there's gonna be like a part one and two and such. So this one is part one with the season seven and such update from it, from My Hero Academia. And hey, I gotta tell you, from the moment when I read, from the moment that day, that day revealed that Dobby was Endeavor's son, Toyo. <laughs> hey, let's just say it brought out another new level, new character development for Dobby and such because granted I get it that he was this dark moody type of person and in a way I guess I was well, basically like a dark moody type of guy but now now with the reveal of him being Endeavor's like oldest son that he, you can say, abandoned one and whatnot. Hey, this brought out a whole nother different meaning and such. So, and plus with how Endeavor and brought out another story and now brought out another narrative and such to Endeavor and to Shoto and such. Hey, basically with season seven, it brought out new things in a lot of people. So regardless, we better check this out. Well, I'm about to check this out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on my socials up there. And without further ado, let's get into this. Let me make sure I leave my phone real quick. First of all, already Dizzy ate off to a phenomenal start. Let me run that back and such. But yeah, already, let me make sure the quality is top notch and such. But already off to a crazy start by Dizzy 8. Saying about how he he left, basically, and if you haven't seen season 7 yet of, an, of My Hero, sorry for the spoilers, but you'll probably forget me even saying it and still want to watch it anyway. Where basically where we learned where there was this big fire and such and Dobby was in it, aka to Toya, and he be they were Endeavor wasn't there, the other kids wasn't there, his mom wasn't there. He was he was burned to death until when Awful One came along and basically resurrected well, you know, did he, did he resurrect him or so? No, it was him resurrected him and such, basically putting him back together, and hence the scars on his face and such. So yeah, but hold up, Dizzy already you. And one thing I've always said, we needed to hear Dizzy on more beats like this and such, cause with the one where he was on that sh the Shibuya arc with him, and then the Sukuna one. Bro, Dizzy went crazy on those. We needed to hear him on more of those and such. So, hold up. But run that entire thing back. Broke you down, I left you shattered. Treated you like you getting mad. I left you alone in the rain. Calling the fire. Here comes the beat. 
saying how that's basically Dobby saying that he wanted him to die together and such, but I guess in a way he really he can relate to it too. First of all, I saw the credits earlier, but I forgot who was involved in this shit. The backing vocals, In Your Way, Divide, of course, and Jono, of course, you would have the, the, well, I don't know about In Your Way, hopefully I'm saying In You Jo, no, that's probably the, the choir and such. In You Jo, In You Jo, hopefully I said it right, because many reactors, whenever they saw that name, they would try, probably seen it wrong too, but regardless, but hold up. Them backing vocals. Of course you would have the three, three art, well, this, let me just take the choir part out of it, but regardless. Well, then again, I'm only hearing the choir, so I ain't heard the other ones yet, but hold up a second, that... perspective because that first part was Dobby and such if I'm not mistaken that first part was definitely Dobby and such and then he's gonna and then he moved into the to endeavor and such hold on this voice is fighting hold on this is Going back and forth with them and such. Hold up, I didn't catch it the first time because I was wondering why the first part was red, then the next part was blue. So yeah, he basically going back and forth with it. Basically saying about basically like a conversation between those two and such. Hold up. basically the entire thing of how this whole thing with Endeavor and not only just with Dobby and such but everybody from Shoto to the other two kids to his mom hell to himself he was just blinded by ego and such cuz think about it like this with Endeavor a lot he was for one time he was just known as the number two hero and such right cuz All Might was the number one superhero period right and with Endeavor in a way you can say he was well not sorry all that thunder was crazy but basically where he was saying and sorry if y'all see me doing that I always do that basically saying about how he was jealous of All Might because he was always being praised and such but whenever people looked at Endeavor 
they were because he's supposed to be a hero but he has, a lot of times was scaring people like people were afraid of him and such because that's a crazy thing where you're supposed to be a hero we're not supposed to be scared of you but that's what it is and then throughout the entire lifetime of him from when he has kids and such he was he was basically trying to beat down every one of his not to say beat down beat down but like verbally and mentally abused his kids and such like for instance like the first one being Do Dobby of course aka Toto Toyo and then with Shoto then these other two kids and then with the and he, with his mom too I mean hell for goodness sakes he traumatized the mom so he traumatized his wife so much that nigga the minute when Toto Shoto I mean sorry got into went to go see his mom the sorry I'm calling her a bitch but let's be honest the the bitch freaking threw water at this kid's face and got that scar on him I'm like that's when you know he was a shitty person cuz you let somebody who was traumatized by you throw freaking hot boiling water at his own kid hence the damn scar on his face ain't no way so hey he was definitely blinded by all of that and such. By ego, by jealousy of all might. Basically, all by everything. Trying to be number one when he forgot the most important of his thing was family. So, but then you see, but currently along the story and such that I'm watching currently the episodes, for me, he's changing. But <laughs> rest assured, throughout the entire other seasons and such, from part ones to... Or basically from the start to to up to the season seven, he was basically an asshole. God damn, just the way how that instrumental just came in at the end. Trust me, y'all need to be, if y'all be listening to these, if you're listening to this and such, or if you're even going to react to this, you got to wear headphones, because the way how, when he was going, when he was pouring his heart out and such, slowly but surely, you hear the beat just going down and such, right? Just going down, going down, going down. That's why... I, that's why Fable was right when he was on that interview years ago with Internet City, where his music is like a roller coaster, just, just up and down, up and down, because you never know when it's gonna stop or end or so. Like just when you, when he was giving you the hype up to it and such, right? Then he's gonna give you like a down, like slow it down, come down with it. Like basically with the music he was coming, you slow it down with it for the one time, coming down, and then as soon as when you at your, when it's like your going then out of nowhere the beat comes in and just push goes into crazy mode <laughs> Right there. And you know, so 
if and peep this peep this too I'm gonna you know what let me play it out let me play it out but let me tell you To be continued. Like I said, part two. Ooh, I can't wait to see what happens with part two. Cause I guarantee you, if how Dobby's, if this is how Endeavor's side is and such, I can't wait to see how the how Dobby's side is gonna be. And this is what I was trying to say from earlier. If you remember when he did. Dobby's Cross My Heart reimagined the second newer, the newer one, right? Reimagined. You, he has it there. Do you remember what happened at the end of the song? The big, it was a big old chorus, right? Kind of the same thing like this one, where it was core, it was just only no instrumental, just only sounds like the vocals you heard. That's the exact same thing. So in a way, that's definitely father and son right there. So in a way, that's how I look at it. Where it's like a, it's like nobody. I think no. To me, I'm probably the only person to catch it. And if Fable sees this, hopefully he does. I catch that little thing right there. Cause that could, cause that's still father. That's like father and son. So that's the, that's how I look at it. But hey man, like I said, we can't wait till when part 2 drops cause if this is how part 1 is for Endeavor and shit, shit, I can't see what, I can't wait to see what happens with part 2. But y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below. It's been your boy Humble Ziggy signing out. And if you made it to the end, comment down below, thunder. <laughs> and that makes me know you made it to the end. But it's been your boy Humble Ziggy signing out. Stay positive, keep the vibes up. I'm out.